Hello, all you beautiful people in YouTube land. Here is my first official real video for this channel. Mag's keeping it real. I'm Mag's, and we'll be keeping it really real, for real real today. Um, excuse the mess in the background. I'm going to be moving soon, and my craft room office is in shambles right now, and I don't even give a crap. Um, I wanted to get this video done before I have to start packing and everything. We're moving into a new house. Um, we're closing in like two days, so yay me, but my life is about to get a little crazy. So I want to do this video that I've had rattling around up in my brain for quite a while now. Um, today I'm going to talk about cloth pads. Yes, another video on YouTube of a woman talking about her period. Yawn. Gross. Turn it off right now if that's not something you want to watch. But, you know, women talk about their periods because that's just something we do. Um, if you're anything like me, if you're looking into maybe trying cloth pads or you just want to get more information about reusable menstrual products because you're curious, you're probably watching every video you can find. Like it's not like you're just gonna watch one video and go, oh, okay, that was great, and then click away. If you're seriously considering this, you're probably gonna watch a lot of videos. So I'm adding my voice. Here I am. Um, I have another channel, my personal channel, where several years ago, I uploaded a video talking about menstrual cups and why they are awesome, and I still think they are awesome. Um, but I don't use mine anymore, and I'm, I'm sad about it. I wish I could still be using it. I used it exclusively for over a year, maybe like a year and a half, and it was fantastic. And then for no apparent reason, one day it just decided to stop working. It would just leak all the time. It gave me horrible lower back pain. And, um, I mean, after, after successfully using a cup for an entire year and then suddenly having it not work, it was just really disappointing, and I didn't really want to start spending money on buying other cups and trying to find one that worked for me because that would I didn't have the money to do that, and I didn't really want to do that. And considering that before I tried menstrual cups, I was actually primarily a pad user anyway, so I just figured, you know what, I'll stay with the reusable concept uh, for menstrual supplies, but I'll just try the pads. So I tried cloth pads. It's the best thing I ever did. I mean, previously the menstrual cup was the best thing I ever did, and hands down, um, cloth pads are phenomenal. They have changed my life. I love them. I will never, ever, ever use a disposable pad again if I don't have to, and uh, I'm going to tell you why. And then if I have time, if this video doesn't get too long, I'll show you some of mine and um, information on who I buy mine from, um, but if I run out of time, maybe I'll just make another video for that. So, first question, why cloth pads? Why not? Um, try them. You can buy a few cloth pads for barely more than you would really pay for a package of regular pads, and um, yeah. But no, I actually have a list here of, of reasons. It's not that simple. Don't you like my little doodle? Okay, so first of all, using cloth pads is way more cost effective than the disposables. I mean, if you spend like between five and ten dollars a month on menstrual supplies, that's going to be over a hundred dollars a year. And you, depending on where you buy your cloth pads from, you can spend a hundred dollars one time and really not have to spend any more money for years. Really, if you take good care of them, they'll last many, many, many years. Um, so obviously they're more cost effective. Um, secondly, they're environmentally friendly because you're not throwing gross biological human waste into a landfill. There's enough of that going on already. So if you can um, not contribute to that, then that's a good thing to do. Um, they're also more healthy and I, I guess saying that they're safer might be a little alarmist. I don't really think disposable pads are unsafe unless you are one of those people who um, is afraid of using chemically bleached products. I know that dioxins and the chemicals used in the bleaching process are, um, there's some controversy as to how safe that really is. So, you know, why, why risk it? Just use cotton pads. Um, but uh, they're at least healthier because they breathe. They're way more breathable than a, than a, than a disposable pad. So you're not going to get the 
the chafing and the rashes and stuff that you you might get. Um, some people are really, really sensitive to that. Other people can use conventional pads their whole lives and never really have a problem, but some people are really sensitive to the plastic and the chemicals and the non-breathability. So if you're one of those people, definitely think about trying cloth pads. Um, they're, they're cleaner, in my opinion. Um, cleaner as in, like, I, I don't know. They, they just... They, they gross me out way less than disposable pads do. I guess that's a really subjective reason. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll consider that kind of subjective. Try it and see what you think. Um, they're definitely less stinky. Okay, so think about this. When you watch TV and you see pad commercials, they're always talking about how breathable and cotton-like cotton they're pad technology is like it's got a cottony soft breathable outer layer and so all of these disposable pads are trying to be like cotton so why not just use cotton um there you know a, a disposable pad has a plastic the base layer is plastic so no matter how breathable they try to make the upper layers you're always going to have that bottom layer that's simply impermeable um, and that's where you get smelliness from because um, the stagnant air causes the the menses to you know get rotten and gross. Whereas something breathable helps it be dry um, and not contribute to a bacterial environment. It science. Um, if you want to get a little like crunchy about it they're they're definitely more natural like they keep you kind of more grounded and centered and aware of your body because you have to wash them you have to handle them you have to look at them you don't just rip them off and throw them away and forget about them they keep you more um, in tune with your own uh, body and um, I think that's fantastic they're also a really good way to support small businesses and stay-at-home moms and stuff because a lot of the people that make cloth pads are, you know, they're either stay-at-home moms or they're entrepreneurs. Um, and so you're not going to be putting money in the coffers of large corporations with advertising budgets and agendas. Um you know, capitalism is great, except when it's not. So I choose to support small businesses and not support, like, Johnson & Johnson and Procter and & Gamble, because Lord knows they, they don't really need any of my money, and I would like to give them as little of my money as I can. Um, let's see, I think I had one more reason here. Oh, well, okay, well, this one's kind of fun. Just because, um, why would you use cloth pads? Because they are adorable. They come in all colors and patterns, and they're a lot of fun. I mean, any anything that can help give you a little bit of a smile when you're on your period and probably feeling cruddy. Um, I mean, I, I find it great just to open my drawer and pull out a pad and be like, yeah, which one do I want to use? Oh, this adorable one. I'll use this one. Um, it's fun. It's fun. And that might not matter at all to you. You might buy a whole set of nothing but black pads and that's it. Go for it. But I find joy in the little things like picking out my pattern for the day. Um, so yeah, that's some reasons why you should use cloth pads. Wow, this video is getting long. It's almost nine minutes already. Hmm. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about some specific brands of cloth pads and some resources where you can get more information. I'll give you that information first. Um, so I haven't done a whole lot of research into the cloth pad community. Um, I know that the menstrual cup community on LiveJournal is fantastic. That's menstrualcups.org. We'll take you right to the LiveJournal community. And they have some information about cloth pads. Um, there's also a LiveJournal community called, and I don't know if I'm even spelling this right, but it's like Vagina Pagina. It's like V-A-G-I-N-A, P-A-G-I-N-A. And that's all about cloth pads and menstruation and stuff. So, and then that's also on LiveJournal. You can just like do LiveJournal.com and then search for vagina pagina, and it should come up. Um, so that's a really good jumping-off point if you want like 
a place to start where you can branch off from. Um, and of course, there's no shortage of YouTube videos about cloth pads. You can just stay right here on YouTube and you'll probably have a bunch of suggestions on the side of the page right here. Um, let's see, what else? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to end this video here because I'm already at 10 minutes and I don't want your eyes to glaze over. If you want to hear me talk more about my cloth pads or where I buy mine from and some information about a couple of other companies that I'm aware of, um, I'll put that in my next video and I'll just let you check it out there. So for now, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. More to come. It might be a little while as I'm getting ready to move. Um, but I promise I'll be back.